Hey guys, what is up? Oliver Paul BC here. Welcome back to the FIFA 20 Road to Glory. Today's episode number 46. And I know Foot Champs is over by now, guys, but it's not right now for me. You guys, we've got 2 hours, 18 minutes left, and we're going to try and hopefully clutch gold one for the second time ever for me personally, but it would be the first time on FIFA 20. So hopefully we can do it. In case you missed the last few episodes of The Road to Glory, this is the team that we are using. In-game, it lines up like this. So we have gone back to the 4 triple 2 which I used quite a bit at the start of this FIFA. Uh, the back 5 is pretty self-explanatory. The two CDMs, you have Genie, Van Eldum, and Ducori, obviously. Wide cams, you've got Usman, Dembele, and Promise ones to watch. You've got an upgrade, he's fantastic now. We have our main man, Mr. Reliable Son, up front at left strike. He's just been incredible. That's pretty much all in foot champs. Just crazy. And then the red Harry Kane, who we're using for the first time in this foot champs run. He's doing pretty well himself. And I'm playing him as a false nine, because um, he plays really well for, as a central cam for me. But I don't actually like any formations that have central cams. So I tried him to strike it. He was too slow for it. So then I tried him to strike it as a false nine. And he's been much better since I did that. So this is the team that we're rocking for these five games of foot champs here. Alright, what does our first opponent of the video have? Hopefully nothing too crazy. PK, uh, one Basaka, Coutinho, I'm guessing the left wingers, I think it's the only one it can be, or better Carlos and a Militaro, Mbappe and Kante, Neymar, wow, that's a midfield. <laughs> Harry Kane, Sondi, the 1 2 play really well, all foot champs so far, and that's 1 0 up already, come on, first chance. We're gonna get that easily. Still skill move right in front of me, you can't do that. Son still again, waiting for the overlap by um, anyone, really. <laughs> Usman! Usman, second attempt! Oh, Usman, you're killing me! Play the 1 2 here. Son didn't make a nice enough run. Give this a cane. Maybe now Son. Oh, it heaps of space here. Five star weak foot! Much better fast week for the new spin the bellies. Do we have another rage quit here? Yes, we do, guys. Starting the episode off with a dub. Love it. On to the second game of the episode now. What has our opponent got? Hopefully not a crazy good team. Okay, to Stegen. Oh, that looks like it's going to be Rio Fernand and PK. Cancela, Alba, Villa, Salamane, the new Morales, which I haven't actually versed yet. Dion, Pep, that is a very good team. Tech took it off Mane's toe there. Beautiful. Oh, that, I wanted that to go to Decore. So many passes. Go, don't go anywhere near where I want this foot champs. And he scores from it. Unbelievable. That's probably the fifth or sixth goal of this foot champs from a pass in my uh, opponent's half. In my half, actually. Um, that hasn't gone anywhere near where I want. Not just because the player's got bad passing stats, just literally not going where I wanted to. That's that far off. These passes are actually going where I wanted for once. Kane's got like six people in front of him, though. I love it. Score a goal earlier than park the jumbo jet. There we go. Great shot, Harry Kane on his four star weak foot one all. That's gonna be Sons. We can change this game in a flash here with another here. Son holding it up. Still holding it up. He's doing really well. Promises in. Oh his left foot come, he's finishing being terrible, but there we go! When it matters. Oh, surely we don't have a rage bit two one. Do we? Nah, I didn't think we would. Oh, we do! That's three race quits in a row, two to start this episode. We just need to go one and two to get gold one for the first time this FIFA, guys. Right, next opponent, will we get another early rage quit? To Stegen again, that's a given. PK, a lot of special cards, wow. Inform De Bruyne, I'm guessing, Tellez, Mares, Werner maybe? Ben Yedda, Gerard, Trossard, Oh no, it's the 84 out of military. Well, that's a really good team. Extra time, here we go. Nil holds crazy. With him subbing Akuno to midfield, but midfield's definitely felt slow, so I'm gonna make a change here. Let's bring up Talisa, who's only played one game so far off the bench. He was good. We'll win that. Beautiful. What? This better be a red card, because I was going. It is a red card! Too much space! How is a cooner in that much space? Come on! Just switched off at the worst time! Shouldn't have brought Talisa on, because that should be his man. How has a fresh Talisa lost a cooner there? 
on the replay, Talisa is just standing around by himself in the D thing. Last chance, guys. It's over. Oh, that's such a tough loss to take. I don't think I can take the stress of this coming down to the last game, guys, so I better win this game. To stay again, just the usual. Uh, yeah, it's pretty normal. Bernard, Malqui, are the only two you don't see every other game. <laughs> can someone get in front of Griezmann? What the heck? I was trying to switch to Van Dyke, but instead of switching to Gomez, so I have to run an extra five or six meters to try and get in front of Griezmann, and of course it's too late by then. This game is unbelievable. How do you not fix the play switching? See, Van Dyke is the closest person to Griezmann, but they switched me to Joe Gomez, who's further away, but who's had to cover more ground. Ridiculous. Last game. We're going to go three and a half hours without scoring a goal, and it's going to come down to the last game to see if I get goal one or not. This is insane. And it all comes down to this. Game number 30. Will we get goal one for the first time in this FIFA, or will we get goal two? He's got Prime Zanetti, Red Tellers, Gay, oh, not Polino again, Mbappe, Stegen, obviously, <laughs> Edim the tail, obviously. That's a very good team, as they all have been, and you expect them all to be at this stage of foot champs. It's nice to at least see a final third pass go on target, though. Didn't see that all last game. Joe Gomez half the pitch. Needs to get his pass off, and he does. Beautiful. Cutbacks on. Beautiful, there we go, we've actually scored a damn goal. Back up the song, one more pass, one more after this, into Kane, he's got to turn. No! Kane on the second attempt, Kane shoot it! Oh, how have we not gone two up there? Into Kane, Son, go on his left foot, he can shoot his left foot obviously. Not today though, of course, no one can shoot now. Come on Sonny, come on Sonny. Come on, Sonny! Sonny, what a finish! I thought that was going over! 2 0! Promise Whitey. Oh, because it can't. It's a good pass. Come on, it's not going to see you right on half time here. Hasn't even had a chance yet. Is it off? It's not off. Oh, of course he scores right on half time with his first chance. What is the defensive line doing now? I'm 3 depth. They were playing like Liverpool. So, we really should be way more up, guys, but at least we have a lead, I guess. 2-1. I can't believe that's 2-1, but it is 2-1. Oh, we should be 3-0 up. Or at least 2-0 up. I'm just got to keep my composure and hold this out. I have got Lone Kante on the bench, in case I need to hold it out. Uh, why not? I'm actually playing wild, though, so I'm not going to bring him on yet. Come on, Usman. Back onto your left foot now. Come on, Usman! Back to Son here. Back to Genie. That's a bad foul. It's got to be at least a yellow. It, not at least a yeah, It will be a yellow. This is a real chance. I have to take it quickly. He's putting someone on the line. Probably not enough power. Oh, it didn't look bad, did it? Let's go left here. And back into Son. Go left. Heaps of space. Sonny, 3-1. Come on. We are going to make the Kante sub now, guys. Vinaldo has been very good, but I think a fresh Kante, no matter how good Vinaldo is, uh, is going to be better. We'll also bring Politano on instead of Dembele. I think we've done it, guys. No way he scores two in a minute. Joe Gomez, one last tackle. There it is, guys. We get the 3-1 win. Let's go. Son got a hat-trick. What a man. What makes it even sweeter, guys. It was a very deserved win to get it to. So, no hard feelings about this at all, guys. And, of course, once I quick click through here... Boom shakalaka, we have gotten gold one guys, the second time ever, but last time I got it, it was at the dying stage of last FIFA, so it didn't really mean much, but this is at the heart of FIFA right here, this is my best ever foot champs result guys, and I've done it with a team that's much cheaper than the previous teams I've used, because we've got 940k in the bank right now, that is just incredible. EA have made it very easy for me to celebrate getting gold one this week, because they've released 82 plus guaranteed packs. And 81 to 87 upgrades. So uh, I was going to last episode put all my rares into as many of the upgrades as possible, put in the leagues, but I ended up just putting some in the Premier League one and then keeping the rest. I'm so glad I did because now I'm going to put every single untradeable rare card uh, that we're not using into this and every single uh, rare card that we have that is tradable and not worth anything into this, plus our untradeable non rares and our tradable non rares. I'm going to make as many of these A2 plus packs as possible. I'm going to open them in this episode. 
in case you guys don't know what these SPCs are, because you can't get access to FIFA right now for some reason, uh, is seven rare plays exactly got with only 30 chemistry, so it's actually really nice and cheap. So it's gonna put all seven rares in all of them, and then four non-rares in all of them, obviously, and we'll open up a lot of them, hopefully. We should be able to make quite a few, at least like eight, I would think, just like we opened eight of the 81 plus packs yesterday. Maybe we can get some nice pack pools here as well. So we tough to be that Robo pool, but maybe we'll get an even better Liverpool player, who knows? So I thought I'd also make our Team of the Week upgrade, just because I'm that happy about getting gold one. Uh, you guys can see who's tradable, who isn't. Actually, quite a few of them are tradable here. So the opportunity cost is probably a little bit higher on this one as opposed to on the last episode. Probably about, I don't know, 6 or 7, 8k. None of the big cards are tradable. The two 84s we're using are untradable, as you can see. So we'll trade that in. And I also have 15 82 plus packs to open. I could actually make more, but I thought we'll just end on a nice round number and we'll save some more rares for maybe next episode. We'll open a couple more packs, including what we do uh, one or two tradable Team of the Week packs. And we'll save that for when the new Team of the Week comes out. So without any further ado, let's get started with the 82 plus packs. Come on EA. From 15 of these guys, I'm expecting two walkouts. I said that when I did the eight A1 plus pack opening. I uh, kind of wasn't actually expecting them, but from these, I really am expecting two walkouts, guys. Especially since if I just get an 84 UCL card, that's a walkout. Okay, first one here, we have a flag. Spanish, as it so often is, center back. Okay, it's not gonna be a walkout, that is for sure, because it is Batra. Second pack. From 15 of these, uh, I'm probably expecting realistically to get like seven or eight eighty twos. Any more than that, I'll be properly upset. I mean, even seven or eight is probably too many to be getting. Spanish flag, as it always is, send to mid this time. It's going to be Alan. Oh, sorry, not Alan. Fabian. I actually already have his UCL cards. It's a bit useless for me. So we'll definitely put that towards probably an inform uh, SBC. I'm definitely going to accidentally open this Emily player pack at some point since I need to scroll over after every pack to get back to the 82 plus packs. I don't actually know why the team of the week packs first. Last time I did packs, uh, they were last. Big clear, there's the first 82. I guess it's because they consider these packs to be rarer than the inform pack for some reason. Uh, first stupid gun tradable, we'll just discard him. Can't even bother to go do an SPC with him in it. Already three down, got a couple 83s and 82s, so nothing crazy yet. Uh, we didn't invest any coins into this, so okay, let's use the outcast. This could this is our best chance of a walkout so far. Come on, Suarez. Suarez me! Oh, Cavani, that's still a sick pull though. Walkout number one. I and mean, this would have actually been a walkout even if it wasn't a UCL card, so that is awesome. Uh Cavani isn't a fantastic card though, so we'll definitely put him in an SBC. Suarez would have been sick, but Edison Cavani is still pretty cool. So from eleven more of these bad boys, we just need one more walkout for the quota. Maybe I should have set the quota a little bit higher. Now they said that we're gonna get like six eighty twos in a row here. Uh, we don't hear, I think this is an inform, so it could be an A2 to be fair. Dutch, that's, middle, that's gonna be Quincy Proms, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we'll definitely put him towards an SBC for obvious reasons, as we do have his one to watch. But he's walkout number two, back to back, there we go. Sick. These packs are looking good so far, because Quincy Proms is actually a sick card. Really enjoyed using him this weekend league. That Quincy Proms uh, obviously isn't actually technically a duplicate, so we do get to keep him, which is awesome. Uh, Next pack, okay, our second 82 so far. I'm not mad, you know, but there's many walkouts as 82s. That is definitely not bad, savage. Five of these bad boys down, so a third of the way through. We've already got two walkouts. Maybe at that rate, we're gonna get six walkouts out of this. That would be crazy. Obviously, I'm not expecting that. Portuguese flag, Cam. It's gonna be Bruno Fernandes. I think he's 85 rated. Yeah, that's really good. These packs have been sick so far. Last year, these were pretty much just 82 packs. Not 82 plus packs, 82 packs. But this year, we've only got eight, two 82s, an 85, uh, a couple walkouts, and a couple 83s. These are looking really good so far. These packs are a lot of fun. Definitely worth the wait of how long it took for EA to make an SBC that requires rare players. Oh no, another 82 here. This is number three. Is it going to be a good one at least? Nope. <laughs> We just got an 82, let's not get back to back 82s. Once we get back to back 82s, I think it's gonna open the floodgates for the 82s. Hopefully we don't, it doesn't happen here, it's happened. We're definitely getting like six in the next seven or something. Since I talked up the packs, so they're actually pretty decent this year. All right. This batch of five so far has definitely not been as good as the first batch of five. We have got Bruno Fernandes from it though. And another flag here, come on. Belgian, okay, this could be good. Center back, it's gone. <laughs> oh! It's going to be another walkout. It's going to be Vertonghen. 
Awesome. Walkout number three. These packs are incredible. Definitely going to put Vidomi into an SBC. He definitely does not fit the meta of this FIFA. I was fully expecting that last pack to be company. That's why I wasn't too excited when I saw the center pack come off. <laughs> All right. Next pack. I believe this is the second... The last one, sorry, of the second batch of five. We have another flag. Germany this time. Center forward. Ah, oh, Max Cruz. That's an 83 rated. Not bad, not bad. And then there were five. Ready at three walkouts and a decent 85 rated card. Come on, let's get one more walkout here to double my quota. That'll make up for not getting any walkouts from the 81 pluses. I asked for two for both of them. If we get four from this one, that'll definitely make up for it. And we do have a chance here because it is a flag. Spanish as it so often is. Right back to me, duplicate Carvajal. Oh, Azpilicueta, nice. Azpilicueta is like a really good for SBCs because he's one of the high rated right backs and the equal highest in the Premier League. I know he's a really good player, but I don't quite understand why he's higher rated than Trent and why Walker's higher rated than Trent. Uh, I feel like Trent is a bit underrated in this FIFA. With how he's playing this season, though, he should get a winter upgrade, which will be sick. Only four left. Come on. But these have been really surprisingly decent. I honestly wasn't expecting much from these packs, guys. Uh, okay, and our blues, there's a very high chance to be a walkout here. Never mind. Herrera, that's a duplicate, I believe. I think I've got this guy like three times. That's really strange. I don't think I remember packing his gold card once. Is my Herrera tradable? I didn't think so. We'll have to discard him. Only the second discard so far, though, so that's awesome. Two left. Will we clutch one more walkout? Uh, we've got some good pack balls, but I'm completely honest, nothing makes my starting 11. To be fair, Quincy Promise is actually in my starting 11 right now, but he's one to watch version. I guess he's the closest. Uh, it's going to be Ander Herrera. Oh, it's a duplicate. I did not know I had Ander Herrera. Well, that's this card. And the final 82 plus rated player pack in today's video. I've been very pleasantly surprised by these. And on that note, maybe we'll give me another good core cool card here. Oh, uh, we're ending. Oh, wait, that might be flag. No, I didn't think it was. We're ending on a dud here. It's another big Leo. <laughs> second 82 Biglia from these 15 packs. Come on. And that will do it for today's episode of the Road to Glory. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Let's open up this Team of the Week player pack. Come on. Show us the Senegalese flag. Just do it, you madman. Just do it. Uh, we've only got one of these. We actually got 86 Yago Aspas, so it wasn't bad at all. Hopefully, we can get another sick pool. Ah, German. Who's German? It's going to be Max, I believe. Yeah, I think this is Max. He's actually a decent left back, but with Robbo and Roberto Carlson tradable, we definitely are not going to be using him. So we'll put him towards a tradable team of the week pack. We'll try to get a couple of those and save them for Thursday, or I believe Wednesday night is when the new team of the week comes out in England. Thursday for me. Before I wrap up today's video, I have sold a few things, including Morales, who I just had in my club. There's a Liverpool badge, which I found in my transfer list, uh, which I bought for 350 to start years. We made profit. The long haul right there. <laughs> the long game doubled my money. Uh, and then we did some bronze pack method. A couple of them did sell for quite a bit, but a few of them did just sell for like 200, 300. But even if they do sell for that little, it is still definitely worth in the bronze pack method because I actually packed this. And that was only in the second pack of the bronze pack methods I was opening that certain day. I think I ended up opening like 30 or something. So he paid for like all of them pretty much, which is sick. I haven't actually sold him yet. So we'll clear all of that. And I have done a few objectives here. Oh! I haven't actually been on the objectives in a while. There's a king. Oh, sick. We should try to do that in the next episode. Cherries, squad battles, 12 goals in rivals using forwards. That's easy. Uh, squad battles, score at least two goals per match in three rivals wins using Premier League players. I see that he's a full team of Premier League players. That seems doable. Score ball in four separate rival matches. That's probably the hardest one. We might, go, we might try to do that, guys. He's probably a very decent card. King usually does have a decent card. Anyway, I got sidetracked there. I didn't know that existed. Let's just claim these now. Uh, we get a draft token for winning five games. That's pretty good. Uh, win 10 matches, any foot mode, premium gold pleb. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, 15. A mega pack. Wow. Sick. Yeah, he actually did something cool. <laughs> These are sweet rewards for how simple it was. And we get 50k. Oh, I thought it might be a 50k back or something. Another 35k back. That's still sweet. Uh, we got to win eight more games this week. Maybe we'll, we'll try to do the king, and then while we're doing that, we'll get that. So let's claim all of these. And the mega pack. There we go. I might have just sped that up because it was took longer than it really needs to, to be claiming stuff. And then we've also got some season progress. I do believe. Yes, we do. Yes, guys, we've done it. We have the cat badge. This is the main grind now. We can stop now. Nothing else you want out of this. <laughs> oh, he's actually got a picture now. Cool. 
What are the other pictures like? Gelson Martins, not bad. That was pretty basic. I like that they're actually at least trying to give Juventus Ventus players um, dynamic pictures. That's pretty cool. And um, yeah, cool. I like it. Let's go claim Cream Puff the Cat now. This is the big one, guys. This is the only badge I've seen so far I've been tempted to use to replace the Liverpool one. And the other one is actually the Tyrannosaurus Rex badge. It's really unfortunate that they're in the same option. We are going to go with Cream Puff the Cat, though. I mean, let's have a pack. A Rare Electrum Players pack. So that's six rare goals. That's not the worst pack ever. That's pretty cool. We have four or three packs, really. Let's get this out of the way. We have three more packs to open. <laughs> it was funny. When I started making today's video, I thought this was going to be the first episode in the last three that I didn't actually do a pack opening, but no, we're doing a big pack opening, especially with those 82 plus packs we just opened. Um, so yeah, three episodes in a row we've done pack openings. We'll claim the draft token, we have two of those now, and this is untradeable, so we'll just discard that, and I'm never going to use that or that, and let's just click keep him. Next up, which pack is the worst one? Probably the, yeah, definitely the 25k pack actually. Maximum three rare golds out of this bad boy. Four, if you get an inform that was stock a non-rare, I suppose. Uh, it's just going to be below an 83 here. There's no silver card in this or something. Why is there, like, silver flares going along? It doesn't normally do that, does it? <laughs> we got Gaia. Not bad. Uh, Vukovic. Is mine tradable? Yes, it is. And we'll send all this to the club. We'll open the... I don't know which one of these packs are worse. Let's do this one. Sure. 35k pack. I think Mega Pack is actually pretty good to me this year. I can't remember if we got a Bamiang and Son out of one of these. I know we definitely got a Bamiang from one. Son might have been from a rare Mega Pack, though. Uh, it's something that silver thing again. Does it always do that? Or is that for Black Friday, Cyber Monday or something? Or have I just been unobserved the whole year and not realize it has a white light there? <laughs> That's probably what it is. I thought they were usually gold, though. Chalanolu uh, and no good players. One squad fitness. That was a pretty bad pack, really. And then finally, to end today's episode, we have a rare Electrum Players pack. What an awesome episode it was of the Road to Glory today. We're having some sick packs. More importantly, though, we did clench gold one for the first time in this FIFA. And we've got a proper pack pool to end off here. We do have a flag. Spanish, how else would it end? Goalkeeper, it's going to be Ica Casillas. An icon pool right there. Unfortunately, it's not an icon yet. <laughs> we also have Verdi, Kalu. Uh, do you have any Major League uh, MLS, I guess? No. <laughs> oh, duplicate Ricardo Pereira. That's a shame. I just like just got him as a, uh, du a um, untradeable, and then I'm going to discard him. That's a shame, because he's actually a really decent card. Let me just make sure I'm almost certain it is. Yeah. So, unfortunately, discard Ricardo Pereira. Send all that to the club. And that will do it for today's episode of The Road to Glory. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. Helps out. If you want to see more videos in this series or my Gold One Foot Champs rewards on Thursday, then please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.